Minecraft has been out for ages and all over the web, I've seen some horrible things done. Ah, uh, yes. Uh, I, I may have uh, taken part in some of these actions myself. Yeah, you're the King Cheese. I expect you to get into some of those actions. Let's get into our actions, though. Executions! Coming in at number 10, trapping your friends. Trapping your friends in an obsidian box, yeah, it's not fun, okay? Luring your friend may be the hard part, hands down, but once you've done it, it kind of feels nice. But best advice to get this to work is having obsidian on site, pre-worked in, and make sure your friend does not have a diamond axe. But one thing I must say, it is definitely horrible because once you trap them in the cube, they will get very scared and they will become heartless. And like I said, if they don't have a diamond axe, they can't get up. Then you just start straight up peeing your pants. It is funny to see, but I'm telling you, it is horrible. They will be begging for help, they either will rage quit, or just never trust you again. So, you tell them to go follow you or do something else, that's gonna be a negative, bucko. I'm sorry. And a nine lag. Intentionally creating lag is just so goddamn annoying that I had to put it at the start of the list despite it deserving to be way higher. Because as, as many people as possible need to know that intentionally making a lag machine or doing something for a prolonged period of time that you know is causing lag for others is not ethically sound, okay? It's just not right. Why are you ruining the experience of playing the game for other people? I mean, sure, there are some situations where it can be funny for a joke, okay, like Bodum spamming boats in Hermitcraft Season 8, but they did that knowing that it could be reversed and helped in reversing it, okay? Just hopping on a survival server and then making a lag machine is just stupid and a waste of time for everyone. Like, don't you have any anything better to do, like come out from under the bridge and stop being a troll. Okay, come be my jester instead. Coming in at number eight, killing passive mobs for no reason. Whether it is on accident or you're just feeling like going on a spree, it is wrong, but hey, I ain't gonna judge, right? I must say, but a horse's death, I mean, if you want your goods, you're gonna have to muster the strength. The only difference here is we ain't in the jungle, and the only few animals we have to deal with, well, really depending on where you are in the overworld, because now with this wild update, we got a lot more nature, you know what I'm saying? So the horse's death, it sounds very bad, and you know, you just done something wrong when you kill the horse. It screams to death. Call it animal cruelty if you may, but hey, I may need my materials sometimes, and that horse was definitely in my way. I definitely felt like a real killer though when I slaughtered the baby villager. Let alone, I was fighting a golem, and a baby villager got in the way, and I had to end his suffering. I am so sorry. Minecraft ain't got no hospitals, though. I mean, what was I gonna do? Kill his daddy, then go on, he's gonna build up some revenge, hit the gym, come looking for me in my glass house, use his powers that he learned from his illager buddies? Damn, you know what? I'm going to be a little bit scared to think about it, but you know what, we're just going to move on. And it's 7 Warden Trap. Well, yes, any skull shriekers that you place on your own or using a catalyst do not summon a warden. You're still able to use them in traps if you bring one up from the surface, okay? I did this when I captured one in a live stream, but they also did it in the recent session of Double Life. In the Little Wood, ended up bringing one to the ranch and caused everyone to panic. Especially Grian, since the warden locked onto him multiple times. But this is a horrible thing to do to your friends, or right? especially when it's like a pseudo hardcore series like Double Life. Luckily, as long as they stay silent, the warden will disappear, but that means that it also can't get aggravated by any mob for a whole minute. So needless to say, it's difficult to get rid of it, um, especially if you name it, which will prevent it from digging back into the ground. Something that I wasn't sure of until I actually wrote this number, so there you go. Coming in at number six, cosplay as a deadly mob. This one ties into multiplayer than just with friends, but I definitely wanted to add this to the list because to be honest, if you could dress up as homie Brian or any mob and just terrorize your friends, oh my god, this is a good trap in itself. And sometimes it can go the right way or it can go wrong way, depending on who you play. It could be very horrible, I'm really telling you. It's like playing prop hunt. And like I said, be careful because one wrong move and you're dead. Like the tryhards will come and kill you. Disguised as a creeper, people run away. Being an enderman, they don't want the smoke. But become a zombie and now they just want to straight up kill you. Creatures that fly like a ghast are good too, but these are mobs that will change your game and others playing around you. I'm telling you, it's horrible. It's scary. Don't do these things, man. I, I don't know why this is going to make you push to do these type of things to your friends, but hey, I ain't judging. 
Halfway through into number five, kidnapping. Whether it be a love interest named Daisy or a frog named Rusty, kidnapping mobs and players is never a kind thing to do. Especially if it's a pet mob and it wasn't scripted for an SMP or something similar, okay? I mean, like, taking a baby Yoda head while not being scripted is expected on the Hermitcraft server and made for some good story points, but if you're just playing with your friends or on like a random server, that's not cool, okay? Especially if a player is actually attached to that mob. And while you may be thinking who would actually be attached to a Minecraft mob, I would. I can have very unhealthy attachments to things that people normally wouldn't care about. Uh, ironically enough though, it's never been unhealthy attachments to people. Y'all can just leave and I'll be fine. EMOTIONAL DAMAGE! I got a talking Piplup -pip plush a long time ago, I got home, it stopped working, but at that point I had developed such an attachment to it that I would not let my parents take it back to get a new one. Um, so yeah, uh, don't kidnap anything on my server or I will actually smite you, and I mean that literally with, like, actual lightning. Coming in at number four, stealing loot. Listen, you hungry hippos, alright, crafters and builders around, they take pride in our collectibles, and pride and joy. I tell you, I definitely take pride and joy in my things. The thing Things that we mind to either bring back to show off to you guys while well, meeting our friends, the gamers we play with, but throwing on the hamburger gear and stealing just is wrong, okay? That's definitely not dirt nasty whatsoever. You don't want to be caught either because y'all know what happens. Oh, he's stealing! He's stealing! So yeah, best keep them sticky fingers in your pocket because it's horrible and it's just wrong. But hey, there may be just that one player that you don't like and you kind of want to scare them real good, especially in a paid server. You steal his loot, but hide it underground, okay? Make a separate box and put them glass looking inventory planes in there. Call it the spooky filled chest or the mystery box of your choice, but definitely don't steal, okay? Stealing is wrong. Getting close to the end of number three, peace, love, and plants. Okay, the whole concept behind Mumbo Jumbo's peace, love, and plants thing in season eight of Hermitcraft was that he wasn't going to kill anything. And at, like at the end of the season, he would be able to open his statistics and see that he had never killed a single mob. This was probably because they all knew that the season was going to be shorter than normal. However, while this was supposed to be a good thing, this made Mumbo have to do some horrible things. Uh, before he got his end crystals, and you know what, even after. He set a squid on fire, claiming that they were volunteering themselves into the flames. He spammed Green's base full of trees that he knew would get cut down, and honestly, he probably killed the most amount of like actual players that season with end crystals, despite being the person that couldn't actually kill anything. Not to mention the wolf-powered blaze farm that I'm sure resulted in the deaths of more than just one wolf, the horrific Enderman killing tube thing and the suffocation of countless ghasts in order to make all of those end crystals. Not to mention the whole, you know, end crystal war that he started that also funded him because he was the only place that sold end crystals. So yeah, Mumbo in season eight was literally a war profiteer. Coming in at number two, dying slash getting lost in the nether with valuable item. It's the worst, all right? Nothing is worse than spending time in the overworld looting like crazy and you get lost. Like it's the worst thing that can possibly happen, let alone you die and spawn back at your bed. Like you spent two hours just to find a nether fortress. You got some blaze rods and then it took me a little bit to realize I was so deep in the nether, I was lost from my portal. I started to think fast, put on my handy dandy thinking cap and I was running out of food. So I started to follow the north path to maybe find the so-called light at the end of the tunnel. Then a freaking gas blew me off the platform. Like, bruh, here I go falling into the lava and I lost a full set of diamond enchanted armor with a diamond enchanted sword, plus blaze rods. Like, I lost everything. My enchanted diamond armor and sword. You know what? Screw you, Nether. No, actually, screw you, gas, for destroying my run. I'm just trying to live and recalibrate my damn steps. It's a damn shame I got killed. Finally, in the number one, griefing. Griefing is probably the most despicable things that you can ever do in Minecraft, at least in my opinion, since, you know, the game is all about building and crafting. And when half the game revolves around building whatever your heart desires, as long as it's made of cubes, destroying anyone else's work is just a damn shame, okay? Don't get me wrong, on some servers, particularly faction servers, it is allowed, and anyone who joins the server knows that it can happen. But that's the exception, not the rule. I mean, like, even when I was playing on faction servers, I'd be bummed out when my stuff got ransacked by a TNT cannon, okay? It's just a scummy thing to do. And this also involves stealing or borrowing items from other people's chests unless otherwise given permission to do so, okay? It's just wrong, so don't do it. Don't be a dick. Otherwise, again, I will smite you. I have that power. Slash summon lightning bolt. 
That's all we have for today. What are the worst things that you think people have done in Minecraft? Let us know below. Yes, and I have been crafting day. And I'm Connor Monroe. Yeah, that's right. I'm Connor Monroe. I've said it. Yeah, that's the script. I'm not letting him say his thing. Chris, cut the cameras before he does. I ain't judging. <laughs> Oh, thank God, I was holding that bad for so long. Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, yeah, we gotta film, you can die. Exa exactly, Chris was holding back comps for me, man. I appreciated <laughs> that. Get that boy some milk! <laughs> <laughs> I've had enough milk. Do you see how pasty I am? Why are you laughing at my number, Chris? I, I dare him to come smite me. Alright. Dirt nasty whatsoever. Do not put, slow me down for dirt nasty. Do, do slow him down for dirt nasty. Dirt, dirt nasty. Then a freaking gasp. Screw the nether. <laughs> black out! Black out! That was a lightning bolt. We, just, yeah. Oh, I thought you were saying black out. No, no, no. Me, I thought that was your outro. No, no, no. It's black out. It's black out. Don't worry. Uh -huh. you, you don't know that term, alright? That's all.